Hi, I'm Tom Peterson, and I'm the Director of Technical Marketing for NVIDIA, and today we're here at PDX LAN in Portland. And what we're showing you is our brand new graphics cards, the GTX 580. Here we're running GTX 580 in SLI, and it's absolutely the fastest pair of graphics cards on the planet, which is really cool. What I'm showing you here is a brand new demo that we developed to highlight a few of the benefits of GTX 580. So first of all, let me just start this thing on an auto loop and it'll fly you around this beautiful city. Let me tell you what you're seeing. The entire city is heavily tessellated. So when you're flying around these beautiful buildings and as you get closer and closer, more and more geometry makes it look more and more realistic. So as you see, as we get closer and closer to these geometries, there's, there's like an incredible explosion of detail. You can even see almost like the tiny little rivets on the sides of these buildings. But when you're looking back, the whole city just looks beautifully detailed. There's over 500,000 lights that are all generating all these nice little shadows and all of the beams of light, all of that is being generated in real time. So it takes the power of something like a GTX 580 to really make this demo look beautiful. This is, by the way, running at 25 by 16. So let me take it out of the, uh, the auto mode and go into sort of a free flight mode here and I can show you a few of the more interesting uh, highlights of the demo. So first of all, I'm gonna kind of come on up out of the fog and we're gonna fly around a little bit. And again, notice how smooth this is running and how beautiful those buildings are as I get nice and close. They're getting heavily tessellated. And there's probably a couple things up here to see. So we're gonna zoom in on those birds. And look as we get closer and closer to the birds, there's more and more detail. All of the wings, all of the eyes, they just start to pop at you. And even up here, you can see just an incredible amount of detail on the surrounding architecture. So what you can see is all these spotlights are just highlighting beautiful amounts of tessellated geometry. Let me show you what that looks like. First of all, I'll do split screen. This is showing you without all the uh, extended shading. So this is almost what, sort of if you were to draw a canvas of just polygons, this is what the demo's doing. And what you can see is most of the beauty of the right-hand side is coming from geometry. Let me go ahead and blow that all the way out. This is what you're looking at. See all this? It's all created uh, dynamically using tessellation. If I zoom out, you'll see how that simplifies. And then when I zoom in, more and more triangles come back. So it's really just amazing. Let me go ahead and show you the wireframe. Look, look at the mesh on the building as it changes as I get closer. See how it's increasingly providing more and more detail as I get closer and closer. And then as I pull away, that simplifies. Same on these birds over here. If I pull in, look how the, the mesh, the geometry becomes so detailed that it almost looks like a surface. But when you look at the bird, and when we go ahead and paint it, it's really just a completely different experience. Really beautiful. We can actually change it to daytime as well. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, in daytime, you can see that the birds are actually chrome and they're beautiful. Let's go around and see some more sights to be seen. I'm gonna change it back to, uh, back to nighttime. And we're gonna go see maybe these guys over here. So the whole city, as I mentioned, is procedurally generated. And if you keep flying in any particular direction, the city just keeps generating itself. So you can actually never get to the end of the city. It's really amazing. Now what we're looking at here is another gargoyle, which is again, heavily tessellated. I'm gonna to switch to daytime mode and look at this thing. It's just amazing. Switching to the base mesh there, if you remember on the, the heaven stuff, this is sort of the way the base engine is doing geometry. And this is the way it looks when you have a heavy tessellation engine. So that is Endless City. It's designed uh, for GTX 580, and we're running it here at PDX Land to give everybody a little bit of a sense of what's coming, but I'm really excited, and you need uh, the class of GPU and the amount of horsepower that we provide with GTX 580 to really do a great job on the demo.